We all know that diabetes is a serious global problem, right? But how serious? In 2015, 415 million people globally were estimated to have diabetes and up to 91% type 2 diabetes. That's one in every 11 adults. And of those, almost half don't even know they have the disease. In fact, more people died from the consequences of diabetes in 2015 than of HIV AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. The World Health Organization projects that by 2030, diabetes will be the seventh leading cause of death. That's a serious problem indeed. Yet diabetes remains an invisible epidemic. Why? Type 2 diabetes itself is not linked to any clinical symptoms, thus it is very often not diagnosed or diagnosed too late. While severe diabetes often leads to heart attack, stroke or heart disease, diabetes itself is generally not named as the official cause of death. So when the root cause of death is diabetes, it's often attributed to something else. This has meant that the scale of the problem has been difficult to track. The first step in the development of type 2 diabetes is pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes means that the blood sugar level is higher than normal, but not yet high enough to be type 2 diabetes. However, the long-term damage of diabetes, especially to the heart, blood vessels and kidneys, may already be starting. The same factors that increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes increase the risk of developing pre-diabetes and include, for example, being overweight, diet patterns, and inactivity. Pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes do not discriminate. It can affect everyone, across all classes, societies, countries, and continents. And unless action is taken now, by 2040, around 482 million people might be affected globally by pre-diabetes, and an estimated 642 million people by diabetes, according to the International Diabetes Federation. So either directly or indirectly, all of us will soon be affected by this global issue. It will stress our healthcare systems, challenge our economies, and touch the lives of more and more people that we know and love. To solve this problem, we have to have a plan, and everyone in the healthcare ecosystem must work together. We have to help raise awareness, promote health education, and promote lifestyle changes that prevent the onset of prediabetes and allow a better management of type 2 diabetes. Merck KGAA Darmstadt, Germany, with its 60 years experience in the diabetes area, is taking those challenges seriously. And we are proactively reaching out to other players, such as the International Diabetes Federation, to form alliances to improve management of those conditions with a beyond-the-pill approach. Let's work together to keep our future healthy and fight diabetes.